Okay, so welcome back. Um, so this episode was really going to talk a lot of questions that come up from doing IA simulation like this is, well, how do you write up the procedure, the method, and the variables, and things like that. So I kind of want to use this as a, as a possible example you can use to, to figure out how you might guide your students, or if you're a student watching this, how to set this up. So the nice thing about this is if you can look, you know, we can change the initial number of sheep, of wolves, grass regrowth time, um, sheep gain from food. Like, so there's a whole bunch of variables here we can change, we can control. Um, and that's important that those are talked about and that those are justified. So why, you know, why did you choose to start the number of sheep at say 50, you know, and the number of wolves at 50? Um, you know, why did you set the regrowth time at, at 50? you know, whatever that means. I mean, the question also becomes, what do these mean? And if you click on info here, you can see they kind of lays out the parameters, okay? So what that, those actually mean. Um, and it also gives you credits and references down here that may um, give you some good spots to start looking at. And if you're really into code, you could actually go into the code and change it yourself, but that's beyond me. So, you know, knowing those, we can say, okay, so sheep reproduce set at 4%, right? And if we looked here, we can see that that means the probability of the sheep reproducing each time step, okay? And remember, the time step is really a measure of ticks. Um, so, so the idea is, is how many ticks. So knowing that, then we could dig into some research here and we'll see, you know, how often do lambs, do sheep reproduce? You know, and here's, they give birth to one or three lambs at each birthing event. Um, so first time moms likely to have single births. So there's a whole bunch of things here you could go back to this to justify. So we say, you know, um, not every sheep's obviously gonna reproduce, 50% male, we're gonna call that, you know, 6% because, you know, it's gonna be a mixture of new moms, which may only have one birth, which is less likely to survive, and, you know, uh, sheep between the age of three and six that are more likely to survive, right? So that could be how you kind of justify that. And then you might look at, say, wolves, you know, and how they work. So here they are is, you know, they have a 36-day digest uh, gestation period. So maybe that you start to inform that there. I mean, the important part is that, that the students showing their thinking. Why are they doing it this way? Why do they make these decisions and justifying those decisions as they set up the parameters here, okay? You can do the same thing with the grass regrowth time. So here's a whole example of, of what that might look like. Um, Yellowstone National Park, um, reintroduced wolves into their ecosystems. You know, that could be a really good case study here. So, you know, it started out with a small pack of, I think less than 10 wolves, you know, with probably a fairly large number of, of sheep or predator, you know, uh, prey in this case. So how might that have, so those are the kind of decisions um, you need to make. But the, the important part, what I would always tell my students is you need to justify those decisions with data somehow, or at least, you know, that data is not available, those studies aren't available, at least show, you know, some critical thinking, taking, you know, ideas that you can find, say here with grass, here with wolves, here with sheep, and use those to justify your choices here. And then the rest of the kind of the, the method part of it, it tends to be a bit simple. You set this up, you know, you set your parameters, blah, blah, blah. You would, I would certainly include a picture here with some labels, you know, for steps. And you're just kind of explaining that, that procedure. But that procedure is really kind of a smaller part of that whole, um, of the whole introduction or the whole um, exploration part of the IA. Because, you know, a lot of that's justifying the reasons for your study and the choices you're using here. So I hope that helps with these decisions. And um, again, if you like more of this stuff, please subscribe to the channel. I'll try to update it regularly. So thank you.